Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use monday.com for content production. So the first thing that you want to do is when you're going to create your account, you want to click on add and I'm going to show you how you can do it with templates and everything. Now I'm going to choose choose from templates and here I'm going to find content production on the left side. Now right here you have option to uh, like let's say find a content calendar, video production management, content planning, creative process, internal processes by today. So you can choose which one you want. I'm going to choose the content planning and also I'm going to show you the social media planner and we can look on content calendar in this video. So when I'm going to click on a content planning and I would use this template, I can show you how you can operate with it and how you can manage it. So right here, when I have the content planning, uh, I see what I have to do like this month. Then I see the next month and new content. You can of course like add a new group. So let's say a planning content for the future or like ideas that's like up to you. So let's say I'm going to add a YouTube video and I'm going to show step by step the columns and everything. Here I have the owner, which is going to be let's say myself. What I can do under the YouTube video, add a sub items. So let's say a YouTube thumbnail, YouTube description, uh, like let's say an idea what I have to do for what I'm going to talk to about in YouTube video. Then I see the status and then I'm going to show you like working on it. You can of course like edit the labels and when you're going to click edit the labels, you can change the label and you can choose, uh, let's say not like preparing, right? And apply. Now I can do this. Then I have also the content. If it's a blog, article, website, post, email, I can find the YouTube video. So I will edit video here, apply. Then publish date, I don't have it yet. The brief is like the comment to it, like my notes. Then I can add the files. I can add a link and I can add a time tracking, like how much time I actually spent on um, the Monday.com, my project, my, my, I'm on my task. So I have also the add a column option here on the top right and I can simply add more columns. So we have option to add a text, date, status, priority, timeline, uh, location, phone. So plenty of stuff here email that's like up to you and that's how we do it then of course you get also the content planning calendar so we don't have the publish date yet but let's say i want to publish it for um, let's say 18 or like august 17 and voila we can find it here you can also edit uh, tasks right here so what do you want to actually do then you see also the kanban so in kanban uh, you would have all the information that let's say that I'm going to have the empty ones are those that not really um, yet there anywhere. So I can add like this and just move it, it, right? So that's something you can do. Or let's say you want to find a content type under it. So this is a blog post or you want to have a brief to it or that's pretty much it how it works, right? So then you get also team workload. Team workload works like how many tasks you're going to have for a person on that week. So let's say if you can have a five year, the blue thing is smaller than 10 tasks. You see, I can have one task and then it's enough, right? So you can choose how many tasks you're going to have as a workload. Content assets. These are the files that you can find. Content dashboard. Uh, is like mm, the dashboard of what is happening. Then your tasks. This is really great if you're working with a team and you just want to know about your tasks that you need to uh, like fulfill and do. And then content request. So this is something uh, that someone can fill for you, even your potential customers. So let's say that uh, or someone internally. So this is really great. Let's say that I would have like someone for to fill the ideas from my customers, what I would like to, what I have to create. So this is how you can do uh, the content planning. 
Now, of course, I can simply add and show you the different ones here. So when I go here and write content production, and I can go with the content calendar. Let me show you how that looks like. Again, you see the main table here, the campaigns, the live campaigns, the complete post. This is a little bit different here. You would find it in the calendar view. So let's say again, I have a channel, then campaign brief, then campaign timeline under, until to what time it's going to work. Budget spend, campaign status, assets. So this is something that, okay, what I'm going to uh, do, like let's say this is going to be a Facebook, Facebook campaign. So I can have like there, like Facebook campaign here. I can have a channel. Let's say this is going to be Facebook ad for my channel. Timeline can be from today to, let's say from 6th to 10th. Budget is going to be, let's say 2000. And then you can have like also the campaign status. If it's a working on it, completed, post or stuck asset link to campaign. Then when it's like, you can have it as a live campaign and uh, then completed post. So I can change this to live and voila. You can even have the workflow centered and in a moment when you're going to push, put it to live, it will put to live campaign. And this is how you can have the content calendar for your ads. And also if I'm going to add, I want to show you uh, the content calendar, the content planning. You can also the digital asset management or you can have the social media planner. And let's just wait until it's going to like get it has. And here we got it. So social media plan. Now social media plan, uh, the strategy, we have the Gantt chart, we have the table here and a social media planner is like, let's say month one, you can have month two. And this is the copy and this is the inspiration, the posting schedule. Then also like what you're going to write here then image design, you can have like picture directly to that post. And now you can have like a lot of stuff prepared. So you can have the design status and bam, Facebook posting for scheduling for scheduling. So you can have all the data here and you can see how the social media planner works. You can have the calendar, the files, the timeline, when is what happening? Then also the Kanban. So with the timeline guys, you can go to the top right and settings. And here you have option to choose a uh, group by let's say none, or you want to group design status or by a group content category. So in Kanban, uh, you can choose like, let's say the main table that we have here. Uh, we can have design status. So, okay, I need to ready to schedule. So I need to add a logo so I can move it simply to ready to schedule. And this is pretty much how it works. And this is how we can use it for content planning, the monday.com. Now, if this video helped you, let me down below in the comments. If you're going to have any questions, this was like introduction to monday.com content planning and what you can actually achieve with it, what you can do with it. In my opinion, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, but I don't know about you, uh, if you can have like some problems with it or no, this was a content planning for monday.com. Um, if you need any help regards everything, anything about Monday, just let me down below in the comments. I created plenty of tutorials. You know how it goes, you know how it is. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.